oink, oink, oink. Hey everybody. I cannot believe that it is almost the 4th of July again. And because the weather's been so crappy here, it's like not even summer yet, but yep, it's almost the 4th of July. So once again, we are going camping on the beaches of the Mississippi River, and I am bringing tons of vegan food for my non-vegan friends. So today, I'm just gonna be showing you two of the dishes that I'm bringing, and the first is a glass noodle dish. It's a Korean dish, and it's called japchae, and I got this recipe from Mommy Tang. And I've made it before, and it's absolutely delicious. I just want to run through all the ingredients that I can get at my local grocery store, because we have a really good, like, international aisle. But if not, I'm sure you can get this stuff online. It's well, well worth it, okay? So I'm going to show you all the brands. And it, they all seem to be the same brand, like this Tasty Joy. This is the brand that they carry. So these are the actual noodles. These are This is the Sweet Potato Vermicelli. Korean japchae noodle, although it's, I've seen it spelled J-A-P as well, so I'm not sure. So this is a 12 ounce bag. I'm gonna be using about half of it. So I'm gonna be using half of a 12 ounce bag of the noodles. And then here's the dried mushrooms. Again, this is Tasty Joy brand. And these are dried mushrooms. I believe they're shiitakes, okay? This is a six ounce bag. And I'm gonna be using about half of these. And, and I'll show you a little trick that, that I, I figured out. Now the next thing we need is dried fungus. Now I know this doesn't say dried fungus on it anywhere. Now I'm showing you two different, they're both from Tasty Joy. See, Tasty Joy, Tasty Joy. But I believe, oh yeah, it does. It says dried black fungus on the back, okay? Now I think Mommy Tang used this one. Um, I couldn't find this the first time. And this you soak, these you have to soak too. So these you soak and you slice up. But then I found this bag and it looks like, it's again, black fungus strips. This is already sliced. So this is what I'm, this is the one I'm gonna be using. I'm not, I'm not using this. I just wanted to show it to you in case you could find these and not these. All right, throw that away, I don't need that. So I'm gonna be using this, this whole bag. I don't even know how big this bag is. Two and a half ounces. So I'm gonna use this whole bag, only half of the mushrooms. Okay, then you're gonna need, well you don't have to use this, but I'm gonna use some bee free honey for sweetness. You could use whatever you want as a sweetener. I got some less sodium soy sauce. You could use regular soy sauce and I'm gonna use a little bit. Ooh, focus. Why do I have such a hard time focusing on things? I suck at focusing. My focusing skills need some work. Anyway, this is sesame oil. I'm gonna be using a little bit of that. Now we got some, two cups of carrots, like these matchstick carrots. And yes, I could've peeled the carrots and put them into strips, but I don't got time. I don't have time for that. So I bought them already matchstick. I know, I'm cutting corners. Two cups, all right. Hey, I cut the onion up myself. This was one large sweet onion, and this made about two cups of diced onions. So two cups of carrots, two cups of onions, and here we go, we need some spinach. And this is a eight ounce bag of spinach. I'm gonna be using the whole thing, all right? So that's pretty much everything you need for the recipe and the rest is garnishes. And I am going to be garnishing with some, this is six minced or whatever, sliced spring onions, scallions, whatever, whatever you call them, you know what I'm talking about. These were kind of beefy ones. So you might need a little more if, um, if they weren't so beefy. And I'm going to be garnishing with some of this, what is this, sesame seeds with, with seaweed. Yes, shake it up so nobody can see it. Look, read it, read it, read it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna be garnishing with these sesame seeds. And I am going to be using some of this magical mushroom seasoning, which this is the only ingredient I can't find at the grocery store. I can get it online. Okay, and this is the brand I get. See, it says mushroom seasoning. And I don't know, I don't know what the brand is. Poluku Trading, but this is what the bag looks like. I, I keep this stuff on my counter in one of these thingies, Parmesan thingies. And, cause I use this seasoning in lots of stuff. It's really good, okay? But look, you guys, you gotta beware. Look, beware of counterfeit. Because that's a big deal. You know, people are often counterfeiting mushroom seasoning. It's, it's, a, it's a big deal. It's punishable by law. So you need to be, beware of it. Beware that you, 
don't get a counterfeit mushroom seasoning. Okay, so there's the ingredients. And now I'm gonna soak my mushrooms and I'm gonna show you a little trick. Hold on. All right, see this bowl of mushrooms here? These are the dried porcinis, which I haven't soaked yet, obviously, because they're still dry. Anyway, you know how in the shiitake mushrooms, the stem is sometimes kind of really hard and you don't want to eat it, so you cut that stem out? Well, this is what I found, guys. Yesterday, when I was when I was just putting them in this bowl, getting ready to soak, I'm like, I like, like, pop that thing, like, like, like look at this, watch. Watch this, watch, ready? Look at, look at this. Watch, see how easy, oh, and then I threw the stem in there. What a dumb ding dong. It's in there somewhere. Anyway, you can just pop that stem off of the mushroom. I mean, I'm gonna slice these anyway, so you can just like, sometimes I broke them in half and then popped them off. I popped all these off, so I can't show you it again. I hope you caught that the first time, how I popped the stem off. So anyway, I just popped the stems off before I even soak them. Wada boom, wada bing, bada bing bang. All right, let's get these soaking. So it's been an hour, and I mean, you can see, look at the black fungus, look how much it grew. But I want this to keep this water, this soaking water, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain, drain this over a bowl, and I wanna keep that water, because we're gonna use that in the sauce, or whatever, the sauce, yeah, whatever, it's a sauce. Can I say whatever some more today? Whatever, man. Sucks. Okay, so. All right, so we got that liquid, and then we're also gonna get, so here's the, um, here's the shiitakes, and they're, and they're soft now, see? And we're gonna slice these up now. But they're, uh, they're good. They're good soaked enough. So, and again, I'm gonna keep this water. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze. There's a lot of water in there in these. I'm squeezing on a jet plane. No, 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 that's ridiculous. That's not the words. What's the words? Oh, leaving, not squeezing. Don't squeeze on a jet plane. Well, you can squeeze anything you want. Okay, so there's the juice, I'm putting this aside. Do you know what sucks? Waiting for water to boil sucks. I hate waiting for water to boil. So while I'm waiting for this water to boil, cause I'm gonna blanch my spinach and I'm also gonna cook my glass noodles in the same water. Let's go out and see if there's any raspberries to pick because I'm a little bit hungry and I know it's raspberry season. So let's go look at the raspberries instead of watching this water sit here not bubbling. Can you see that chipmunk under the bird feeder? See him there? Oh, there you can see him. I'm pretty sure when I walk out this door to go pick raspberries, He's gonna skedaddle. Yep. He's leaving. He's cute. All right, I'm coming out. Chubby. We'll call him Chubby. Chubbs, for short. Because I'm sure he sits there all day long eating what the birds kick out. All right, let's go. Oop. There he goes. There goes Chubbs. Bye Chubbs. I see you, I know where you live. I know you live in my herb garden. I know you live there, or there's one of your holes. Let's go look. Look, see? Hey look, there's the dill I didn't plant again this year. Here's some more. Oh. Here's some more. Here's some more dill I didn't plant this year. Anyway. That chipmunk just went down there in that hole. Yeah. All right, let's go get raspberries. Do, 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 do. Probably got snap peas as well. Ooh, ooh, oh, 
look. Ah, raspberries. I've got raspberries. Yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of grapes. I think I should have a lot of grapes. I hope I have a lot of grapes. There's a lot of grapes on here. I don't know, they kind of don't look... I don't know, if some of them got little black spots on them. I hope they're okay. I hope I have grapes. That's what we got going on here. These are zucchinis. Got some flowers. There's a little zucchini. Look it. These are gonna be a while. Oh, this was one of those, oh, patty pan squash. I forgot I planted that. I got one of those, how cute. Oh yeah, we got lots of snap peas. Look at them, they look good. All hanging here, all green, blending in. Hoping I don't see them. Beautiful, I got a lot. I'll have to come pick these later. Now you watch. I'll get up there and all that water will be boiled away. Tomatoes. Ooh. Everything's looking good. I gotta go check my water. All right, don't blink. This don't take long. Don't take long to blanch no spinach. Just dump that spinach right in there. Ooh, and spill it all over. By the time I get them picked up, it'll be time to take them out. All right, we're just gonna go with that. Blanche, spell Blanche. B-L-A-N-C-H, Blanche. That means they're done. As soon as you can spell it, they're done. So let's just pull this out. So then it gets Blanche, so this is done. So I'm just gonna pull it out with this handy duty thingamajiggy. Cause I'm gonna reuse this water to boil the glass noodles. All right, now I'm gonna boil this, these glass noodles. I already got a half a package here, because I used a half a package before. So hopefully, this takes about five minutes. So this is half a package. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer, just in case I get distracted, because I get distracted easily. Get in there. No, don't boil me. Get the only ingredient in here is what? Sweet potato starch or something? I think that's the only ingredient in these noodles. I will look. I'll let you know. Stand by. Actually, there's an, another ingredient, water. It says sweet potato starch and water. So I'm not quite sure, not quite sure how they make these glass noodles. I would be interested to see a video on somebody actually making these you know, noodles from sweet potato starch. All right, five minutes and those will be ready. All right, it's been five minutes. I'm gonna pull these suckers out. Now I added a little water to these because these get really sticky. So, um, so here's the uh, glass noodles. And now we're gonna start frying stuff all right, now we're gonna dry fry some stuff. So let's get our pan going here. We're gonna dry fry the onions, and then we're gonna take them out. And then we're gonna dry fry the carrots, and take them out, and then the mushrooms, so on and so forth. So we're just gonna dry fry these without any oil. All right, so that's got a little bit of color on it. I'm gonna call that done, and I'm gonna take that out, and then I'm gonna put the carrots in. All right, so these are still still a little crisp, but they don't have that raw raw carrot taste to them anymore. So I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna do the uh, fungus next. Now I think that this is going to be too much. I used that whole bag. I didn't I didn't remember that they plumped up this much, but this is an awful lot. So let me see. I'm gonna end up using one. Just say two, two big handfuls. 
and there's probably a big handful left. So I probably used two thirds of that bag, not the whole bag. I didn't need to use the whole bag. That's how much I'm gonna use. That's still quite a bit. If wanted to, you could use a little oil to fry this. I'm not going to, but I've got a really good non-stick pan. So I'm just gonna dry fry it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt. I don't know why, because I felt like it. I think mushrooms and fungus need a little bit of salt. I think I'm gonna end up cooking this about, about five minutes. All right, I think five minutes was the right amount of time. They just kind of, they're kind of squeaky to start and now they're more tender. So I think you wait, wait for the tender till they're not squeaky anymore. All right, mushrooms next. All right, so this was half, half a bag of the dried mushrooms. Again, I'm gonna add a little salt. Okay, this has been about five minutes. That's looking good. I'm gonna remove these and now we're going to uh, make the sauce. So pretty easy so far, right guys? I probably could have, well, I probably, if I had a bigger pan, I probably could have done all that in one step instead of frying them separately, but it wasn't, it wasn't difficult. Put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Okay, so now for the sauce, we got our reserved mushroom liquid, lick, liquid, my reserved mushroom liquid. I was gonna use two cups of that reserved mushroom liquid. So we're gonna, gonna put that in the pan and that's gonna start, start reducing down. Yes it is. And to that, we're gonna add some soy sauce. All right, I'll stop talking like that. I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of soy sauce, which looks like it's about all I own. Uh oh, I don't quite own that. I got some other kind. I got some dark soy if I think it needs it. So there's supposed to be a quarter cup in there. You don't have to use sesame oil. If you're oil free, you don't have to. But I'm gonna go ahead. I ain't scared. I don't need oil normally, normally, normally. It's the 4th of July, people. I'm gonna add some bee-free honey. I don't know how much here, maybe a, about it. Ooh, that's a nice noise. That was probably about a tablespoon and a half. So this is a mushroom flavored dark soy sauce. It's much thicker than regular soy sauce. So I'm gonna add a good tablespoon of that in there. That should be good. Now, we're gonna add the noodles back in. So here's the noodles. I'm just gonna see how sticky they got. They're pretty sticky. Put all those noodles in the sauce. All right, guys, I'm gonna add some mushroom seasoning now. I probably should have put this in before I put the noodles in. But I think, I think, it, I think it calls for two big, big ass tablespoons. I think we need another tablespoon of this dark soy sauce, which you could just use regular soy sauce. So guys, just keep tasting it. Taste it until, it, until you like it. Taste it till it's absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm happy with how that tastes. You know, just keep adding some soy or some salt or some mushroom seasoning or some more honey until it just tastes really good, okay? So just taste it. Um, and now I'm gonna dump it back into a big bowl. Now we're gonna add everything back in. So here's the spinach that we had blanched earlier and then I chopped it, I swear I did. I squeezed it dried and then chopped it. So we're just gonna dump, dump that spinach in there. And then here's everything else, the mushrooms, the fungus, the carrots, and the onions. Now Mama Tang used her hands and I'm gonna do that too, but it's hot, it's hot. 
So I'm gonna wait, or maybe I'll just use a spoon. Or maybe I'll just wait. All right, this is definitely cool enough to just combine, just because you don't want to ask somebody to get just a whole bunch of noodle without any of the other good stuff. And then you can serve this cold or warm. I'm gonna serve it not hot, but like room temperature. So it's gonna go in the fridge. And then remember, we garnish it with sesame seeds and scallions. But I'm not, I'm not gonna put those on now. I'll do that right right before serving if I remember. I always forget the garnish. I shouldn't, I shouldn't forget. 